YouTube, what's going on? Streamers Playbook here, and I'm here to make your streams come true, baby. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to check out your stream summary on Twitch. Now, you've probably seen some of your favorite streamers. They'll post like, hey, thanks, everybody. This is a banger stream, and it'll show like the number of followers, number of subs, average viewers, etc., etc. I'm gonna show you how to check that out, and also, I'm gonna show you how to look at those stats to kind of help you analyze your attack in streaming, how maybe you need to switch things up or keep doing what you're doing, etc., etc. Let's hop into this. And as always, if you like that transition, own.tv, best overlays, emotes in the business, link in the description, check them out. So we're here on my Twitch channel. Now what I want to do is go up here to my profile icon, go ahead and click it, and then go down to create a dashboard. And then on the left-hand side over here, you're going to go to your settings, all right? No, I'm sorry, you're going to go to insights. Go ahead and go to insights, and then go down to where it says stream summary, all right? And now that you're there, this is your stream summary, okay? So, and you could change the dates too. So this is for me, Friday, March 11th. This is this is the summer. Now I'm gonna show you some key stats that you wanna check out, okay? So first off, let's go to a better day for me. March 7th, okay, Monday. So this is first off, stream duration, average views, max viewers, unique viewers, unique chatters, live views, followers, subscriptions, okay? If you want a definition of each of these, you can go ahead and click this here and it'll show you what exactly each one is. But the main three that I think you should focus on are average viewers right here, unique viewers, and unique chatters okay all these other ones like followers subscriptions once you start it maybe if you have like 20 to 30 average viewers you can kind of look at those things and analyze what are some things that you did to get more people to sub or to follow but when you're a small streamer you want to focus on those three that i just touched on now first off average viewers that's how many concurrent viewers you had throughout the stream that's important because it's showing you how you're able to re retain those viewers so you're like hey did i have low energy did i have too much energy was it the game i played etc etc Keep an eye on that. Unique viewers, that's how many unique people came into your chat. So what you wanna do is look at, hey, I had 35 unique people coming to my chat, but only on average, only eight of them stuck around. So then you can kind of think, what did I do that maybe caused those people to leave, all right? Was it the way I was acting? Was it something that occurred on stream, et cetera, et cetera? And then lastly, unique chatters, you wanna just keep your eye on that, because that shows you how active your chat is. Are they vibing with you? Or is it just a dead chat? What can you do to get them more engaged? Because the more engaged people are, the more likely they will be to stick around your stream. So remember, those are the three things for that section I want you to look at. All right, now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to this little graph here. This little graph is just kind of useful because it shows you basically how your stream went throughout your stream, if that makes sense. And you could adjust this. So right now, this is average viewers. So at 220, I had 12. And then as you can see, 12, 12, and it slowly like dipped down as my stream went on. So then I could look at that and be like, okay, why did people leave my stream? Why did I do something? Was it something that occurred? And then it can kind of make you analyze and wonder, okay, what can I do differently so that way people stick around? So you can adjust this as well. Like I said, this is average viewers, but if I want to go live views, if I want to go to new followers and different things like that, subscriptions, whatever you want to do, this graph just helps you kind of visualize how your chat performed. I'm sorry, how your stream performed as your stream went on. Next, what we have here is path to partner, all right? And so what this does is just help you if you're grinding for partner. If you're grinding for affiliate, this will say path to affiliate, but for partner, th these are the things that I need to hit in order to get that. So I need 25 hours. I'm only at 21 right now, 12 different days. I hit that. So as you can see, I have one of three requirements and I need 75 viewers. I'm way far away from that. But if you're one of those people that likes to like kind of have goals in their mind and it helps you visualize to hit, hit those goals, this is good for you. Helps keep you on track if, if that's your goal. I'm going to put a link in the description. Or I'll put in the comments of how to see your Twitch achievements and this is similar, it just kind of gives more in depth for your goals on Twitch, okay? If your goals are something that like help you get motivated and things like that. Okay, next we have, what is the video for this stream? Now, you can go ahead and click this and it'll show you, I could watch my past stream. So then I could go back, I could look here and say, okay, around this time to around what? So that'd be like about an hour in, I lost a bunch of viewers. And I could go back in my stream right here and I could analyze and see why did I lose those viewers? Now, if you could do that if you want, you don't have to, but that's kind of cool that they do that. And as you see here, you can highlight the video. So that way you can store it and keep it and go back to look at it longer if you need. Okay, the next section is where did my views come from? This is kind of helpful because it shows you, obviously, like it says, where your views came from. So 40% of my views came from my followers, 40% came from other channels. So that could be maybe if someone was hosting me, like an auto host, I'll uh, put a link how to do that in the description, but if someone was auto hosting me on one of their channels, that these people hopped over from there, et cetera, et cetera. And then this is other. So maybe someone came from a YouTube video, maybe someone came from a TikTok, 
whatever that's instead of 20 percent now if you want to go even more into detail just click the details here and then it'll break it down even further 85 percent of my viewers came from the united states five percent united kingdom etc etc and then views by platform so this shows me okay 37 were on android 27 were from web ios break it down now views from twitch like i said 40 percent from followers 40 percent of the page or 40 percent other channels 20 percent of the pages so these are just gives you an idea of where these viewers are coming from all right and it's just something to to keep in mind now i don't think this part is crucial to know necessarily where you're coming from maybe if like other channels or other if you're doing like youtube or TikTok content that could be crucial but um again when you're a small streamer just it's something to have in mind these little things and lastly and i hope you stuck around because this is honestly one of the most crucial things is how do my go live notifications perform this is crucial because we know that twitch does not have great discoverability so one of the things you can use to help yourself get discovered are those go live notifications and this is going to show you how they perform so for me, my go live notification for this stream was want to play ranked with me, all right? And it shows me that from last stream, I got four more than I did the previous go live notification and five people. So that'll show you number of followers that tapped or clicked on notification when you live. So, okay, that, but out of 497 cent, not that good, right? So out of 497, only five people clicked on that. I was like, hey man, that's kind of a stinky one, all right? But percentage of your followers that have notifications turned on, and 497 out of 843 so about half of my followers more than half have their notifications turned on for my stream so this is just important because you could see what notifications am i doing that are getting people to to come into my stream again if you want to know how to add notifications or to edit your notifications those go live that you probably see people will, will send you on your phone or on your app or whatever that i'll show you how to edit those i'll put a, a video down in the comments but this is important, dude. Like, don't sleep on this. Cause like as a Twitch streamer, you don't have a lot of tools to like bring people in and, and get discovered. So don't sleep on the go live notifications. If you have something that works, keep using it till it doesn't work or, or mix it up, change it up. I edit mine pretty much every time. Okay, I try to do a different one because that's one of the few tools I have that and, and Twitch tag. So again, I, that's how you go over your, your stream summary. Um, this is crucial. I, I look at mine every couple weeks, maybe once a month or something like that. It's not something I would analyze after every stream unless you're growing your following. If you're like a, a small streamer, I would say like, you know, less than 20 viewers. Keep this in mind. Like I said, go over it every now and again, but don't like press on it so hard. But if you're starting to grow 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, definitely start taking a look at this stuff and see what you're doing to keep people engaged. Why are they leaving? Where are they coming from? How are your go lives working? Things like that. I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like. Remember, I'm coming out with streaming this Monday through Friday to help you with your stream. So if you're into streaming, hit the sub button. I promise I have something to help you. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.